Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Vardha Sharma and I'm so glad you're here. Uh, today I have another one trick five cards video for you. We will be exploring how we can do dry embossing on a panel without using embossing folders. So what we will be using instead is some stencils to do dry embossing. Um, what I have laid out in front of you here is my die cutting machine, platinum, platinum six. This particular machine comes with the plates that we need for today's technique. So we need this two plates. They are embossing plate and we get this tan embossing mat. They come with the machine for spellbinders, platinum. You can also purchase them separately. And I think for Sizzix machines, you have to purchase them separately. But in almost all the cases, you do get a mat like this. It's kind of squishy, not really squishy, but kind of not um, hard, unlike this one. So this is the hard plate, which is embossing plate. So we need these two. And of course we need the paper or the panel, which we will be dry embossing. And you need some really good stencils um, or really thick stencils. The stencils which are not as thick may not give a really good impression because what we are trying to do is we are trying to um, lay down this stencil and lay down the paper on top this sandwich is important so um, let's talk through this okay we'll put the stencil down first directly on the platform which is the hard surface on top of that we'll put our paper and then on top of this paper we'll put the squishy or the not firm um, tan embossing mat and then we will put our embossing plate the idea here is when i put pressure from top the plate will make the paper sink into that stencil and that stencil with the pressure will make grooves on the paper and make a pattern like dry embossed pattern so that's what we are going for okay let's run this through and you'll be able to see um, what it looks like so this is another way you can stretch your supplies you don't have to use stencils just for stenciling you can also use them for dry embossing like we are doing today um, let's run this through and then let's reveal what the paper looks like so see how nice and detailed design you get on this it's all embossed it's all 3d embossed it's not a color we didn't place any color on this you could probably place some color on this like uh, you could even put this back and then stencil through if you want i'm not doing any of that complex thing today or uh, second step today i'm just doing this part so the idea is put your stencil down directly on the hard platform this is extremely important. If you put the paper down, you won't get as good as an impression because the stencil will try to um, go into the paper, but not as much. So you want the stencil on the hard surface. Then you put your paper, then you put your mat and this mat being squishy will now press the paper into the stencil and you'll get this impression. You could use the debossed surface also. That also looks pretty cool um it's your choice today i'm going to use all embossed surfaces so what i've gone and done is i've done something similar uh, with four different or five different designs i'll walk you through each of them and i'll show you what um stencil i used for what design so we are going to use this is one we are going to convert this into a card but i'll take you back to the other ones i have done and i'll show you what stencils i have used for those let me set this aside and start showing you the cards so the trick is pretty simple straightforward put the embossing down directly on the platform put your paper on top put your tan embossing mat 
then the embossing folder and that's it run it through your die cutting machine and you will get beautiful embossed results sorry about the loud noise okay here we go so you just saw this one i have also gone ahead and done several different examples of this this is oops this is the alt e new sketched line stencil and i have already embossed it on this folder i don't know if you can see i hope you can see yeah i've already embossed this and i'm going to add some ephemera pieces on top to make a card with this let's go through all the stencil pieces um dry embossed with stencil pieces and then we'll come back and assemble the card so this one was made with um, alt e new sketch line stencil i've already pre-planned pre what ephemera pieces i want to put on top all these came from the latest card kit by spellbinders um, and we'll be using these for all of our projects today so this is example number one example number two is this yeah i hope you can see that this is by echo park they had sent this to me um, as a gift um, this is their six by six stencil i'll link to the actual one below so this is their six by six stencil that says modern chevron that's the name of it i'll link to the actual one below but this is the pattern you get with this stencil for this one, I have picked out these couple pieces. I'll keep them together. For my next one, I have used this Hero Art stencil. Um, it's called as Dreamy Nights. That's the name. I hope you can see. It's this moon and stars and everything. And look at the gorgeous pattern you get. So we're going to use this one with these pieces. I have used on this next one here, I have used one out of the three mini stencils you get. This is a three stencil pack by Tim Holtz. Um, and this is in their Stampers Anonymous mini stencils collection. This is set 36. Um, the this these stencils are special um they have this i hope you can see in between the open spaces they also have these grooves that let you move the stencil over align it here and start the next line so you can actually make a large continuous pattern with these stencils that's why they have that grooved kind of a uh, thing going on on their stencil i'm not using that continuous pattern um, ability of these stencils today i just embossed it just once but because of those grooves look i got some beautiful subtle design by embossing so that's what i got i used this a diamond pattern one and my ephemera pieces for it go on top and last but not the least i used one of my all-time favorites simon says stamp um stencil this is the circular lace stencil and i am just so much in love with this delicate intricate beautiful pattern that is gives by dry embossing so there you have it dry emboss um, using stencils and now we are going to put it together put together different cards with this um, and we'll have five cards using the same trick i think six today one two three four five six cards using the same trick today so yeah let's go make those cards
thank you so much for sticking with me guys um these are the six cards uh it's getting pretty dark outside so my video is not looking very nice anymore um i'm sorry about the lighting changes i started pretty late in the afternoon and then it kept getting darker but i hope uh, you got the idea of the trick that we have used or the technique that we have used for dry embossing with stencils and then um you can do the same with whatever supplies you have you can sub you can substitute it for any stencil of your choice and get similar beautiful results for your cards thank you so much if you have not already done so please subscribe to my channel i appreciate your support i will put all the description below for all the supplies used and also the link to my actual blog post where i'll be talking more about it um, once again thank you so much i'll catch you in the next video thanks and bye